hello guys so if you are playing the elder scrolls on wine or even wow on linux and you want to make your wife a little bit easier with adding some add-ons this is the video for you today i decided to try and show you how to do exactly that so let's go Okay guys, so the first thing I want to show you is this little cute program called Minion. You might be familiar with it. You might have been using it on Windows. So if you go to the minion.gg, you can find this program there. Just click on the download. If you are on Windows, you know what to do. If you are on a Mac, OS of course the same download and install from here but we are on the Linux now we have a Java version which you can download from here and after the download is finished you can run this command and install it but I see so many people run into trouble using this specific version of the java installer for minion so i would not recommend it i would recommend instead using this little tool called Lutris. if you are not familiar this is awesome it's pretty similar to steam you can call it a big game hub installer and I strongly recommend it if you are going to keep playing games on Linux. But anyway, so the you can find it on Wotris.net. Just go to the search and look for the Minion. It should be right here. Now you have two choices. The native Java based Minion for Linux, which we already saw on the well here and the wine version you can choose whichever it's easy for you i'm gonna choose just for the sake for this video and click the native java based minion so click install and as you can see i already have installed this Lutris tool and i'm gonna use it directly so just click install now this part is really interesting and really important. I'm using another drive which is not on my home directory and for some reason this gives me so much trouble. I would recommend if you are like me and using different drive and not your home drive, just select home and create a new folder here let's call it minion create okay and continue now click install and we are done the installation is completed just click launch wait a few seconds and as you can see minion it's running now if you are playing world of warcraft of course you should choose this game i have installed the elder scrolls online so i'm gonna pick that one now this part is again very important you should select where all your add-ons needs to go and needs to be downloaded so for me as i said i'm using another drive which holds all my games and it's right here so i have the elder scrolls online right here you should navigate to the file i'm gonna show you I'm gonna show you exactly where this is. Go to users, go to user 
that you are using. In my case, it's GoFill. Now go to Documents, Elder Scrolls Online, Live, and this is the folder that you need. Just click here, open, and for some reason it's not happening from the first time, so you have to close it and reopen it again. I'm gonna do that right now. Gonna reopen it. And now you are ready to install some add-ons on Elder Scrolls Online or for your choice if you did World of Warcraft. That's it. Now I'm gonna show you this was only for the version of the Elder Scrolls if you are using it on Lutris. If you are using the Steam it's a little bit different. I'm gonna show you right now where that is. Just click on the plus button. Click again the game that you wish. Again I'm gonna show you for the Elder Scrolls Online. Now if you are using the Steam version, well, I'm gonna give you in the description down below the whole path to that folder. I'm gonna show you where my game again is. So if you find your Steam library like here, just navigate to there, open it, go to the Steam apps. Now go to the comp data 306130 PFX Drive C. Now you have to go to the users, Steam user, and now go to my documents, Elder Scrolls Online, Wife. And this is the folder that you need for the Steam. Just open it, click open, and all of your downloaded add-ons gonna go there. And when you enter the game, you should be able to use them no problem at all. Let's just check it out. Well, what do I want? Well, this is pretty important. Let's install that just to check if it's working. Okay, it should be installed already. I'm gonna I'm gonna start my game just to check if everything's all right. Okay, we are in game right now. Go to the add-on section. You need to read all that and agree with it. And as you can see, we already have some wipers installed. So this is awesome. We're gonna do that right now. Troubleshooting it's one of the ways. So we need lip add-ons menu install that and we need lip lazy. Okay, let's install that. Uh, 
Come on. Okay, let's revolt and see what we got. Okay, now we fix that and we have installed first add-on so it's pretty well not that complicated let me put it this way <laughs> it's not that complicated so this is how you install minion and download add-ons for your Elder Scrolls Online or World of Warcraft now if you are on the Arch Linux installation like me on this machine there's even a easier way to install just using the AOR repository just open the package manager of your choice I'm using the PMAC because well it's easier now look for the package come on look for the package minion GG and it's right here just click and apply for installation pick the Java version of your choice usually well the default it's fine and apply put down your root password and it's easy as that Alright, it's already installed. Let's start it to see if it's working correctly. And it does. Awesome. And another thing that you can do, but this is especially and only for Elder Scrolls Online you can go to the esoui.com website right here as you can see and you can search for any add-on that you like let's say lazy this one just go there there's a little bit of explanations here you can download it manually extract it and you should put that extracted files in the folders that I just showed you. You can do that. I know it's not as easier as using minions, but for some reason, not every time minion works for everybody. So this is one way you can do it manually. Okay, so I hope, I really hope this helps you. At least for some of you, I know it's a little bit tricky to get it installed on Linux, I mean Minion specifically. But if this helps you or you have some other ideas, please let me know in the comment section down below and I would be happy to answer. So that's it from me for today and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!